Ready for our 10 minute creation for today? Check this one out. A fun card with some punch outs. And we'll do the inside in the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. Have a fun one today. I played around with an idea. I'm going to be using the stamp set from Soft Sayings Card Kit, specifically the Just a Note. I'm going to use black Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp it with. I need my Pansy Punch. I have a piece of the Tutti Frutti um, designer series paper and it's four by five and a fourth. I have a piece of naturally eclectic designer series paper that's four by five and a fourth. I have a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a fourth. My card base, which is Soft Sky, and it measures five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have my envelope. And I have some of the gold enamel shapes. I'm going to use the hearts. Now, for this one, we're going to do some punching and layering. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stamp my image or my sentiment down here because I want to work around the sentiment. I don't want to have to have the sentiment work around. So I'm going to stamp the just a note right there like so, in black. Now what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to use my punch and I'm going to punch out the shape okay, from here. And you can save this if you want. And then, see, this is where I didn't want to have to needs to be over some and down there there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm going to put this on here so that those colors peek through like this um, I'm probably going to use some gold enamel shapes I have some also for the center but I won't add those until after I have um, Put this together and I will kind of want to pop this up so it's going to be interesting to do this because I've got to take and I will be using um, lots of strips around the edge I have a bunch from times I've cut so I'm going to take and just add some strips around the edge to help hold it up um, here's one I can use and I'll you know as you can see I'm gonna piece the others together if I can get them apart that is All right. now, this is a small piece won't go there That one's close. I think it needs to be shorter. Let me get another piece out of here. Let me add this one. So I'm just going to add pieces like this all the way around my card using what I have in my little container over here. And I'll take and do some cutting. This one's going to be interesting because I've got to work around that edge over here and some of them don't want to come off I want that up there because that's a piece I might be able to use all right now this one is critical that it stays inside there okay I'm getting there Slowly but surely. What about that? Nope. That? Nope. Let me get another one. Oh, this one's a little longer. Let's see what I can do with this. Ooh, I can cut the end off because it's not. For some reason, it got smashed. 
So then I can add that one there. And I just have a few little pieces left. Maybe I'll cut this one. And that way I use up all these little tiny pieces. This is a great way to use this. These pieces. So. The longest part of this card is going to be putting on the tape. Will this one work? Yeah, I'm going to use it and just flip that piece around. Because I don't think it'll fit there. Will it? Oh, yeah, it will. I do this all the time. There. All right. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to put um, pieces. I got this little piece here I'm going to use around the edge of the flowers. So where's my, there it is. Oh, I've used them almost all up. Here's one I can use. Then I have to cut some. Okay. Let me go across and cut them. I know just what you want to see me do. Cut the I'm going to put one here only because it's a, a large piece there and I don't want to have to um, worry about it bending. All right, there's one. I'm working on it. I'm working, ladies. I really am. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to add a few more in the centers only because it'll help hold it up. This is when using a piece of fun foam would have been perfect. I should have done that, but I didn't. I didn't think of that soon enough. Because what you could do is put your fun foam on here and, uh, you know, attach it, and then you can take and... Uh, punch it out and it will be matched up perfectly almost one more all right now I got to take all the backings off so let me do that okay I have all my backings off and with this many you may wonder how do you know if you I don't know if you can see but if you kind of move it around in the light it's shiny if all the backings are off okay now We've got to put this down and it's got to be even with the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the top even and the sides and I'm holding up the bottom and then because I don't want it to stick to my fingers, there we go. Oops. There it is. All right. Now it's time to add it to our card. And we need to add this to the card base. Lots of different ways you can use DSP like this, you know, with any. You could put a heart on here for Mother's Day, um, Valentine's Day. You could use red. Okay, found my pokey tool. All right, I need some enamel shapes for the center of my flowers and I'm going to use the large ones so I'm bending them and I'm just putting them in there see how that little bit of touch just really makes that flower come alive and it just it makes it look more like a flower 
versus bean. And now I'm going to use some hearts sprinkled on there. I think I am anyway. I'll go the other way. Oh, it's stuck to me. Okay, there's one. There's two. And I need another one. Ah! Don't stick, don't stick. That's not where I want you. No, no, no. Whew. Whew. That was close. There. There we go. Quick and easy. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And... We did the inside and the envelope. I hope I've inspired you today. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. Your friends need to know all the fun that we have. Have a great day.